I'm Dan Gukin, author of these books on Word, and it's time for this week's bonus Word tip. Sometimes Word corrects the foreign text for you. You type cafe, and you get an accent over the E. That's very cool, très chic. This is the autocorrect feature in action, but autocorrect doesn't know every foreign word. For example, if you want to type resume and not resume, you put an accent over the E. Now you must do this manually. One way is to choose the accented E from the insert tab, symbols group, symbol, more symbols, Latin one supplement, And there's the E, technically the Latin small letter E with acute. But it looks like this. The shortcut key is control apostrophe, and then E, control apostrophe, is a prefix command. Now first I'll click the insert, and there's the character, and I'll close this. Now I'm gonna press control apostrophe, the prefix, and E. And there's my accented E. The control apostrophe key combination is one of several that work as a prefix for accented characters in Microsoft Word. Here you see the lot of them along with the characters they can produce. So you type a prefix key such as control caret or the hat character, and then you type a big A or a little A, and the A grows a hat. Here you go, control hat, A. And I have no idea how to pronounce this character. Ha, hey, ho, wa, ha, wa, ha, ya, da. I have no clue. Here's the chart again, which also appears in my book, Word for Dummies. Now, the accented character prefix key does kind of, sort of, look like the little jot or tittle that's applied to the character. So you can effectively guess, for example, that control colon, which is really control shift colon, sticks a double dot, an umlaut, over a U in Uber. Now, you can pause the video here if you like, or just buy my books on Word for all the details, cool things, and other tricks you can do with Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word.